and welcome back to the channel we are looking at the stock price of digital world acquisition corporation with the ticker symbol dwac uh, as of this recording the stock is trading at 49 dollars uh, 10 cents which is 3.16 percent up for the day uh, most of the major indices are all trending upwards which is a good thing for uh, the stock market and uh, we can also talk about the immediate competitor to digital world acquisition corporation uh, which might not really be a direct you know apples to apples comparison but it's the closest we can have to compare twitter to any other entity so uh, digital world acquisition corporation uh, is in the same space as twitter not exactly but yeah that's a fair comparison i would say and uh, as of right now twitter is down three percent and trading at about 46 dollars uh, and change so uh again digital world acquisition corporation is uh opening up the gap between itself and twitter uh, a lot of uncertainty hangs over the future of Twitter with uh, Elon Musk throwing a rock into the <laughs> into the works. And so everything is kind of jammed up right now. And uh, it doesn't help that the former CEO Jack Dorsey also came out and was uh, pretty much scolding the board of uh, Twitter. Uh, now, the board has uh, the future of Twitter within its hands because apparently they are the ones to decide if they should sell the company over to elon musk at a you know substantial premium uh, compared to what the stock price is trading at right now or not so that uh, so long as that hangs in the air you would have this uh, uncertainty about the future of twitter also you uh, I, I think at some point you might have uh, antitrust laws that might be triggered because at this point, uh, it is, it's not clear if it makes sense that the world's richest person also controls the world's largest megaphone. Uh, that's just too much power concentrated into the hands of one individual. Uh, with a single tweet, he has the power to control uh, economies. Uh, he's been called to order before by the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, speaking of Elon Musk and uh what happens if he takes twitter private being that it's a private platform will he be able to tweet at will knowing that each of his tweets you know brings down stocks <laughs> makes stocks go up in price so that's that's a, a serious issue that uh i believe uh, uh will have to trigger some uh you know soul searching uh, and uh, those who are well versed with antitrust laws to take a second look but on the, going back to digital world acquisition corporation uh, with the trump media and technology group uh, you can see that the truth social app apparently is still growing very strong uh, president trump is above 1 million uh, subscribers over there followers over there so uh, he hasn't yet started being very active on the platform he has posted just one message and uh, i really believe i strongly believe uh, he won't do much until uh, the disparking you know like the two companies uh, trump media technology group merges with digital world acquisition corporation and then they bring uh, truth social on their on the uh, into the stock market so that's what i had to share with you guys um if you look down in the comments <laughs> a few people are very bearish about the digital world acquisition corporation on some prior videos uh, but i think uh, like i said before uh, the market follows the voices that they want to listen to be it for good be it for bad you don't have to like the person but you have to accept that uh, president trump has a lot of pulling power like we've not seen in a very long time uh, president barack obama also has that pulling power and uh, so these are just two very charismatic people that wherever they go you know the crowds will follow so um we will keep watch on digital world acquisition corporation see where this heads to 
Uh, but so far, it looks like a very, very good day for uh, Digital Wealth Acquisition Corporation. Uh, the day's range, it's been anywhere from $46.75 all the way up to $49.98. Volume is a bit timid at just below 1 million shares that have exchanged hands and the average volume is usually about 4.5 million shares. So I'm thinking that uh, people are playing the long game here. Uh, people are just buying and holding on to their shares. So you don't see a lot of in and out, people jumping, speculating. Those who are buying Digital World Acquisition Corporation uh, people who believe in a certain cause and that's why they are holding tight whereas uh, for a comparable stock like twitter uh, <laughs> it's just like a roller coaster ride it's like you're at disney world you know uh, or at the county uh, fairgrounds going around on those uh, rickety rides <laughs> not knowing where you would wake up the next day and uh, yeah so that's what's going on in the stock market sorry about that guys uh i just had to throw it in there yeah elon musk has really kicked give, giving a solid kick to the bees uh, hive and uh, now we have bees everywhere and nobody really knows what's gonna happen tomorrow so well we can have fun while it's going on but please be careful when you invest in this market uh, some people they're so wealthy they take it like a joke but you could end up losing your heart and money so uh, be do be careful please and uh, do your due diligence if you have any doubts please consult uh, a financial advisor who will uh, be able to come up with a plan that uh, meets your financial goals well, that's what I had for you guys. Uh, please consider giving the thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye for now.